So I, I, I know I've been bringing this up a lot. I'm going to bring it up again. The Democrats occupy the Congress, they occupy the floor because they wanted to force a vote, even though they didn't have the votes. They didn't have the votes. They didn't have the procedure. They're, they, the majority's against them. They can never get it through, yet they did it anyway. What? It, as my friend Malcolm uh, Fleischer said, can't believe all these congressmen making pie-in-the-sky demands about gun legislation. What are they, a bunch of Bernie bros? <laughs> because that's the exact thing that they criticize Bernie Sanders for. That, oh, you know, I remember Chris Matthews saying, hey, somebody tell Bernie Sanders when he gets to, to uh, if he gets, becomes president, he's going to go to the Senate. And he's going to go, oh, my God, there's still Republicans there. So either you have 60 votes or you don't. That's all. That's all I want to hear. Do you have 60 votes or not? Well, the Democrats didn't have, they didn't have 60 votes. They didn't, they didn't even, this is in the House. They don't have the majority. They don't have the speakership. They just decided to do it. And everyone's cheering them on. In fact, and they didn't get the legislation. They didn't even get the, a vote that they wanted. They didn't get any of that stuff, but everyone's still seeing it as a victory. You know who else is still seeing it as a victory? Luke Russert. So, Luke, tell me about the victory that the Democrats did, even though they're in the minority, they don't have power, the Republicans control everything, and they didn't even get to vote on the bill they wanted to vote on. But Luke Russert's going to tell me they still won. Let's hear it. Let's see. How, how did they win, Luke? Let me hear it. They feel that they had a big victory today, especially with uh, the public relations. Uh, they were able to knock Donald Trump out of the, of, the, of the A block, talking about Hillary Clinton today. They were able to talk to their base, who's very concerned about the epidemic that is mass shootings in the United States. And that Oh, so they were able to control the news cycle with their message. They were also able to speak to their base who this issue is very important to. So it energized their own supporters, American voters, and it showed them that their government's a little bit responsive to them. So that's two big things right away. Bleeds over to a lot of independents, and they feel that they've asserted themselves on this issue. And Oh, so they appeal to independents, too, who are this is a popular issue with. Isn't that something? People have said, well, Democrats don't fight. Republicans are always fighting. Democrats always roll over. They feel that they've shed that a little bit today. So, so they've also changed the image of them being weak and spineless. Look at all the wins they just had there. Those are a lot of wins. They c controlled the news cycle. They took it away from Donald Trump. They controlled the news cycle. They got their message out. They uh, appealed to their base. They were able to appeal to independents who care about this issue. And they were able to change the public perception that they're weak and they won't fight for things. Maybe that'll help them in an election, you think. So isn't that amazing? When those guys do it on an issue that, i be honest, doesn't really matter. This Even the ACLU is against this, by the way. That's how show, screwed up the Democrats are. <laughs> so, but, so all that, this is what Bernie Sanders has been saying. You go with the people. We win the election. We change the ground that everyone's standing on. And that's what they're doing. And they're, they're using... Uh, they're shining light on corruption. And that's what Bernie said. But but if Bernie Sanders, he's pie in the sky, he's unicorns, he's fairy dust. The guy doesn't know, he doesn't know how government works. Either you have the control or you don't. They're still gonna be Republican. But look at all the victories they got by fighting. Isn't that something? So Bernie Sanders, a progressive, a real liberal who's a fighter, and everybody, all the Democrats turn their back on him. All the liberal media turn their back on him. Uh, but, yeah. but when they do it, it's the greatest thing ever. Look at all the victories they just notched up, even in a loss. They didn't even get to vote on the thing they wanted to vote on. Look at all the victories. What do you say, Jim? Well, I think this is very impractical, Jimmy. You, you have to stop bullets coming at your head uh, incrementally. <laughs> <laughs> I see your point. Yeah, you have to. So what I'm saying is that was all a lie. And it was weird to see Democrats lie about Bernie Sanders and about what he was trying to accomplish. That was all propaganda. So was, let's call it a propaganda because that's all that was. All that stuff about Bernie Sanders uh, not knowing how Congress works. How's he going to get it done? There's still going to be Republicans. He doesn't know how to work. <laughs> that was all pure propaganda. And, and we smelled it as propaganda. 
It was just something to say. That's why I say the people who were against Bernie were arguing like Bush supporters because none of it made sense. And they were arguing against their own positions as liberals. So when other people do it, it's the greatest thing ever for Democrats. They win the news cycle. They show up their base. They appeal to independence. And they, and they uh, turn around their public perception of being weak. All this on a big fail in a house that they don't have any power. They don't have any power in the house. So all that shit that they said about Bernie Sanders was exactly that. A hundred percent, hundred percent complete and utter fucking bullshit. You had a real liberal and you turn your back on him. Mm. You know what I thought was really bad taste when uh, Elizabeth Warren showed up with some torpedo sandwiches? <laughs> 